Texas, I believe. You know, a lot of states have had the courage to do it. I don't know too many legislators that have been voted out of office because they provided adequate transportation opportunities in their community. And certainly here on the coast with 101, uh, the harbors, the ports that we have, I mean, I think everyone in this room understands the need. You know, and it's the old story. If everyone's willing to put in a little bit, everyone's willing to share some of the burden. And at the federal level, uh, per Schrader's perfect I idea would be to make sure bicycles pay, buses pay, electric cars pay, not just gas or diesel vehicles. Uh, there's got to be an opportunity. Uh, and I think, you know, frankly, on the energy side, I think there's some great opportunities there, too. Uh, we have a lot of states, no matter if they're blue, red, or purple, doing wind and solar, uh, other renewable energy projects. It's a, it's a component of an, what I would call an all-of-the-above energy strategy. You don't get to there by telling people they don't matter, their communities don't matter, we're going to stop all drilling, we're going to stop all this stuff. There's huge bipartisan support in the Gulf of Mexico for oil drilling. That may seem anathema to us out here. We work very hard to make sure there's not oil drilling off our coast you know, because of our fisheries, because of the tourist industry. But for those folks down there, part of the art of being a legislator, a good congressperson or state legislator, is respecting the fact that you know other parts of our state, other parts of our country, their livelihood, their family's existence depends on being able to do some of that. And our job is to do it as safely as possible and maybe wean people off of that energy dependence onto something a little better, something that's maybe better for our, our, our atmosphere, for our climate, for the future of our kids. But you can't do it with the heavy hand of, you know, going to be just my way or the highway. That never works. These folks here understand that. And it's not always about getting your way or convincing somebody else that you're right and they're wrong. I've never been very successful in that. Most people are pretty certain they've got a great point of view and it's legitimate. The trick is to accept the fact that that person's point of view is legitimate. And then work to say, hey, accept my point of view, and then how can we get there? That's the art of legislating. That's the art of governing. That's once you're an activist, that's great, but once you get elected and you're sitting up here or sitting in Salem or Washington, D.C., your job, in my opinion, is to get something done and represent your communities. These folks do a, a great job there. I'm going to probably end thing with you on forever and ever. A lot of great issues. You, I've heard some very thoughtful things. Hopefully my team was taking notes on the infrastructure piece that y'all were talking about. Uh, let's give these round of excellent uh, legislators a round of